Hey guys, so um, current energies check-ins. Um, move the setting again. I missed this room. I missed it. So I kind of made my little corner here. A little bit of outside, even though in the daytime the, the daylight might interfere with the visual here. So I kind of set it up in a way where I have a little bit of control over that. Um, so I put it here in a corner where the boys can join me. Oscar's here trying to go to sleep. Felix is over there though. He's currently having a dream, apparently. He's doing all that. So he's dreaming. Uh, and Kai um, was here just a few days ago, kind of exploring the room, even though he knows the room, but because I moved everything to uh, fit this setting here, he's kind of like, what, what, what happened? Why is the cat tree from there to there to, what, what, what just happened here, mama? So I gave him the time to explore um, these two adjust faster because they've been with me for quite some time and they know that when mama changes things, she changes things. Good. Uh, so yeah, it feels, it feels like, uh, cause I, I still didn't get that um, room that I want to get done. I've actually decided that I'm gonna work myself on it. So it'll take me quite a few months probably uh, for my workspace. And I don't even know if I wanna move it from here to be honest, because it feels good with the wood, with the everything. It feels like, I don't know, it gives me a sense of groundness, more of a uh, kind of feeling. So I might leave it here, I have no idea. For now, I'm good here. I feel like I needed to to move the spaces and start in my own time to get that freaking basement done. Um, whenever that gets done, we'll see. Anyways, not in a hurry with anything, just thought I should move here and I did. Um, that's it, that's all my blabber for today. Blabber, webber, snapper for today. I feel... I feel like I want to sleep now. This boy is really making himself cozy. That boy is having dreams. It's all kind of sleepy time. A little after the video. Okay, I'll take a nap. I'll take a nap with them. Uh, not with Kai. Kai is going to be playing by himself because Kai doesn't know how to let Mama take naps. Uh, he wants to play. So... I'll have these boys with me. I'll probably take a nap here. Why the hell not? Nah. nah. I got my own blankie waiting for me. Anyways, let's get to business. I have no uh, announcement. It's been pretty busy lately with a lot of things. And um, I, I like not to rush with things usually. <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm, I'm everything, anything but a Leo in that department. But once I get things started, nobody stay in my way because I got to get it done. Um, but other than that, things that don't depend upon me, I'm not going to rush them. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to take my sweet time with everything. Um, so that's why things are not quite as I want them to be. Uh, yet, and that's okay. That's fine. I just decided through all the madness to move my headquarters here. And um, we'll take it from there. Current energy seconds. <laughs> I want to sleep. Um, I'll be going through each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Um, I'll be, it'll be quick to the point, no clarification for the Friday videos. There will be no extended for the Friday videos. Um, did I want to, I feel like I want to tell you guys something, but I keep on, I don't know, maybe I'll remember. Um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or a situation you're dealing with because things you're dealing with also carry energy. So it could be just about anything. Um, where that energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energy is at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe. Timestamps will be below in the description box and in the comment section. 
they will not work properly until this premiere of this video is done uploading. So while you're watching this, if you're watching the premiere of this, they will not work properly. Um, anything else? Roles can be reversed. Uh, I have it laid out and now you can see part of how it's all looking here on the table where sometimes it looks like a mess, but I know my mess. So um, I have it laid out like first column is you, for me at least, second is the other energy, third is the connected energy. Uh, so roles can always be uh, reversed. <clears throat> That's just for me as a reference. Um, I think we are ready. These two will probably have a haircut by next week's Friday check-in. For some reason, they're um, kind of going at it at the same time in terms of when I decide, oh, okay, you need to let that hair go. Uh, so, man, I just don't want to cut Felix's hair. He's so fluffy and so... But he has knots already. Not, not many. He can still survive with those. And I... When it gets naughty in there, he doesn't... He loves the brush. But when it gets a little bit naughty, he's like... He gets naughty <laughs> about it. So, uh, no. So, he's probably gonna get a nice lion cut again anyways let's get you going here um because i really really i'm probably gonna take these two and curl up in a ball and sleep after this I don't know. um let's do this earth signs capricorn On your side, you get the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Star. Right? I'm trying to figure out what's so confusing about this energy because I feel like your desire currently is to find your balance, your stability, your... I want to feel good in my own skin. I, I want to, you know, create some sort of something stable in the material for me. So the, the goal is pretty clear. Now, the Eight of Swords there is kind of like... What is there to stress about? Oh, maybe the meanings, maybe how you'll get there. Yeah, that could be a possibility, something that's stressing you out here. But in terms of what it is that you actually want, you got it all figured out. Once you're clear about that, things will fall, fall into place so that you get to that place. Um, so no need really to stress about it, but I can see you know, sometimes it happens where you're like, well, I got it clear now, but how do I make it happen? Um, so there's a sense of independence, of freedom, of stability, maybe singlehood tied up to this. Uh, for the energy attached to you here, they get the eight of wands, the um, high priestess. It, it wasn't coming. I, I, I almost said the intuition card, uh, the high priest, priestess and the four of pentacles. Um, they feel guided to open up. It feels like they're following their intuition. When it comes to interacting with you, to opening up to you, uh, it feels like they're actually guided by their intuition. So they could be in that place of um, maybe not talking for a month and then, you know, really, really wanting to talk. To them, it feels good. It feels like, you know, this is where I feel like I want to open up. Um, so it kind of comes on their side as something normal, something, for some reason I'm getting that on your side, it's kind of coming like, what the hell? But on their side, it's normal, the way they're opening up towards you. You know, that could be why you're confused here. 
Um, for the connection, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. So this does have a chance to get into that place of love. However, the Five of Pentacles is here, which is telling me that someone's getting in this with that uh, preconceived notion of it's probably not going to last anyway. So if that's the case, then it's probably not going to last anyway. You know, because we're kind of creating these things. When we bring in that kind of energy, that's our own fear about it. So it's probably going to come to fruition eventually. Um, let's see what the universe has. Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, the Strength card. <clears throat> I feel like you're, maybe a part of you is trying to move on from this, but kind of being dragged back to this, kind of like, even though I'm open for options out there, my eye is on this still. So, I don't know what this is. I don't feel like that bond not yet or not anymore maybe um there seems to be like a split here there there seems to be something missing in this bond in this connected wire between the two of you you know there seems to be like an off kind of situation here for some reason but i do see you that even though you may be open to other possibilities this would be your first choice if that counts as anything there's something off about this. Anyways, that's it. That's what I got, Cappy. Moving on to Taurus. here the other room felt like it was overtaken by cop and it was like did i ah whatever um it sounded very and just the energy in it because of kai uh which is very different than what these two bring to the table now they're doing their job perfect where they're sleeping right now um and that to me is very grounding I feel like this house needed a Kai, okay? Needs a Kai. He's the opposite of this. He's the complete opposite. There's no grounding with him. Um, I don't know if he'll ever fall into that place, and I don't mind it because the Leo part in me kind of needs that fire, that mm, although I do enjoy the groundness of things. So I think these two are here to provide me with that, and then comes Kai. <laughs> Uh, which I, I, I just love him to pieces. He's, I don't think I've ever experienced such emotions of, I want to just kind of strangle you because you annoy the shit out of me and I love you so much at the same time kind of thing. Um, he's just that, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> ah, my little guy. Let's see, Taurus. Taurus, 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 I love your energy on your side. What's coming up, you know, for the rest of the gang here? Um, I don't know. So on your side, you get the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> the lover is the star. I love this energy. Um, it's kind of like you have it clear for you. What makes you happy? There's definitely a connection that you feel strongly at this time, you feel that it has the potential to bring you happiness, or there is somehow, at least at an energetic level, a lot of happiness that this connection brings. And I feel like with the star there, it's kind of like, I've made up my mind. I kind of want this because it brings me happiness. So, awesome energies. Now, on their side, the two of swords, the page of wands, the four of cups. They're not too happy with where things are. Basically, there's a lot of confusion on their side, kind of like, maybe you got it all clear for you, but I feel like they have no idea about that. I feel like for them, nothing is clear when it comes to this connection. Um, they do have a sense of curiosity 
towards this. They are keeping themselves open in that sense of, hmm, I wonder. But uh, overall, there's a sense of disappointment over how things stand or where things are right now. Or something may have happened that placed them in this. Mm. Um, for the connection, the Strength card, the Three of Swords, the Magician. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I feel like this is you. This is your energy with the Magician, especially. Because I feel like you're... Especially when you're in this energy that shows up on your side. You're in a quite good place for manifesting. For making things happen, basically. Um... It's kind of like you're pushing through all of the pain that you may feel or have felt towards this and you're manifesting, you're looking into the positive stuff, into what this could be in terms of how happy it can be. Um, so I do see still some pain in there that you attach to the situation or is attached to the situation, but you're pushing through. You're like, I'm not going to let this stop me from getting this, you know, it's quite interesting. <clears throat> what no uh let's see the universe uh, okay uh the lovers the five of swords and the two of cups I'm going to pick on you here because you've got the lovers on your side. And roles can be reversed. So if roles are reversed, then I'm picking on them. Um, just because you feel the way you do or just because, you know, again, to you, it feels like the situation is clear. What the hell? Of course, I feel this. Of course, you know, they, on the other hand, are someplace else when it comes to how they feel about this. And that that's OK. You know, it can happen, especially if. This is more felt at an energetic level where you feel it deep down and, you know, on the surface, who the hell knows what, what's happening. So it could be justified that the two of you have different stands when it comes to this. Um, now you're showing up in that place of, well, if I feel this, then we're definitely going to be together. Eh, not really, you know, because again, they may not be in the same place. So that's kind of like a little bit self-sabotaging, a little bit... I'm not going to say delusional, even though it kind of heads in that department. But it's it's kind of like try to uh, take into account how they feel about this. Because, again, maybe they're not in the same place now. That doesn't mean that they don't have the same emotions. Maybe now they're they're feeling a little bit confused about it or something. So don't assume that just because you're feeling something, then it's going to happen in that way. No matter how they feel, and it doesn't matter how they feel, it's going to happen because I want it. Ha, huh, because I feel it. Eh, you know. Um, good feelings. Just don't take it in that direction because I don't know. I don't know if it works that way. That's it, Taurus. Moving on to Virgo. You found a place in the sun, boy? Okay. Where are you going? Uh, do you guys want to be fired? You were sleeping, you were sleeping. What just happened? I can fire you, you know? And then rehire you when you're sleeping. Abandoned again by my own kin. Man. Let's see, Virgo. <clears throat> On your side, you get the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. There's a sense of feeling stuck on your side. You have a lot of emotions for a situation, but at the same time, you carry some things from the past, some things that are not that great. So maybe you're throwing it in their face every time they do something kind of like similar to a past energy. You're like, oh, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do it because you did it before. So of course you were going to do it again. And 
And that's not really creating the space for them to come up with something new because you already created that scenario in which they're going to do that because they did it before. So by, again, we're, uh, how do I make this clear for everybody? Because I feel like for the most part I am and other times I feel like, yeah, no, I don't get it. Um, where we manifest these things, these scenarios even. Uh, let's say you are in this situation and you're not understanding how you're creating this behavior, right? Because it's theirs. Of course, I'm not creating it. Well, no, but your expectation of it does, you know? Um, being neutral about it and getting rid of the past energies kind of creates a space for them to come up with something else, you know? So that creates a lot of confusion for you. A lot of, I see you in this place of confusion. Like, how can I love them and then not like what they're doing because they're doing it all over again, whatever they did in the past. It's all tied up to your expectations, basically, and how you would like for the situation to be. And it's not because you're already predicting that it's going to be a certain way. And of course, it's not going to be different. Oh, man, I feel like... I confused you even more. Um, for them, the lovers, the death card, the empress. Well, they come from a place of, I'm done here. This is done. I'm just gonna like, go away. I don't know if I believe them, to be honest with you. I doubt that they are, because the energies are too powerful for them to be just like, eh. Nah. Not really. They are showing up like that for now. So they could be in that place towards you where they're not giving you, you know, uh, no time, no energy, no nothing. So it could be that uh, confusion on your part comes from this fact too. Like, why would I bother loving this person when they don't want anything to do with me? Uh, for the connection, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess. See, your intuition is calling you to focus towards you, to bring all of that energy that you're putting into this, to bring it towards you and take care of yourself a little more. And you know that. Um, <clears throat> if you are doing that, I'm not sure to what extent you're doing it. Because I feel like I would talk to you and you would be like, but of course I'm taking care of me. I don't care about what they're doing. But what did they say when they, you know, when they saw you and did, did they mention me? That's not really, yeah, that's not taking the energy from them and putting it onto you. Because uh, it feels like a, a kind of like a push from the universe. Like, hey, maybe you should focus on yourself. And you're like, I am. What do you mean? Universe, go away. I am. How are they, by the way? Uh, let's see what the universe has. Who's cutting what? Is that <laughs> I make those noises too sometimes, and I'm annoying because I'm like zzz, 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 with the leaf door. Ah well, um, but I don't know. I don't know. From the universe, you get the world card, the four of cups, the five of wands. Okay, you're starting to get over something. Something may have happened here. Um, not that pleasant by the looks of it. There's some conflict in there there's some disappointment in this whole situation but i feel like you're starting to come out of that maybe at this time you can actually take the energy you're giving to this and put it into more into yourself because during this time i i, I kind of get it like of course you know you of course i reacted like that if they did that and then uh it, we got to the point of saying who knows what and then you know so your focus is definitely going to be more projected towards them rather than you but I kind of see that um, fading away. So you're probably stepping more into the energy of self rather than... Let me focus on this more. Um, I don't know if it's a done deal. It does show up like a done situation. I don't know if it is. Maybe it is for now. Um, fire signs. Aries.
Hmm. Aries. On your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Chariot. Uh, there's a sense of urgency somehow. There's a decision that you're making or you've made. Kind of like, it's not even impulsive. It's like, almost like, I'll show you. Bam. Let me decide something. Even though I kind of know it's not necessarily good for me. I didn't even think about it to see if it'll benefit me or not. I'm just going to, you know, well, whatever. Uh, and it feels like you're you're... It feels like it's coming with this energy of spite, like I'm going to do it just to spite you kind of thing. Um, it feels rushed. It feels like a sense of urgency, like chop, chop, here I go with something poof in my life that I don't even know where it came from, from and where it's going to go, but I don't care. You know, kind of feels like that for some reason. Uh, for the energy attached to you here, they get the two of cups, the tower, the hierophant. Wow. This is coming in as an energy of uh, somebody falling really, really hard in love here. Um, it's kind of like taking them by surprise. It's kind of like hitting them like, oh shit. I don't know why it feels that way where it started off as hmm, let's try this out and then bam just in a split second it feels like oh my god I feel so strongly about this for the connection the eight of swords the emperor the three of swords you're not showing up in the best place here energetically you're showing up in a place of confusion in a place of pain that's why this decision of yours kind of comes in from a place of not a good place here where you're at. Um, so I kind of I kind of get this whole storyline here as you maybe just, you know, going off into the sunset with the first person you meet. And then this person kind of falls hard and then you're in this pickle of what the fuck did I just do? And how do I get myself out of this? Um, Let's see. Let's see what the universe has. The Two of Cups, the Temperance card, the Eight of Pentacles. There's almost like a... Right now, I'm not seeing you in the same place as this person, right? Where, again, it feels like one feels something, the other one feels a whole lot more. But in time, it could develop into something for you as well. Um, now, those are the available energies. You do have free will, so you can do whatever the hell you want in this department. But it feels like an energy of, in time you may get into the same place, at least into the same place that they are right now. Uh, I don't see this because I don't see this as equal. You know, I see you being a little behind from where they're at in terms of how you feel towards one another. And then as you grow, they may grow too, unless they're waiting for you in this energy. Yeah, who knows? But again, in time, um, you may get there. There is a chance. For you to feel the same. That's what I got. Moving on to Leo. On your side, you get the Death card, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Swords. Um, 
it could be that you're getting past something, something that brought you a lot of pain. I feel like you're completely done with getting over it, getting past it, whatever this was. It's definitely a situation that's still stuck to you energetically, but when it comes to the pain that you've experienced within this, it kind of feels like, okay, I'm done. I've worked on it and I'm past it. Uh, for this energy attached to you, they get the Two of Swords, the Devil card, the Nine of Cups. This is the kind of energy that is standing in their own way, basically, in the way of their own happiness. Um, by overthinking things, by not allowing themselves to feel whatever it is that they're feeling and just taking it all up in their mind space there. And it's coming in as a pattern for them, so it's not something new that they're doing. It's something that they've always done basically. For the connection, the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Three of Cups. Somebody here is not willing to let this go at all. Not only that, they want it bad, The uh, this connection. Could be you, could be them, could be the both of you. Because uh, there's definitely a, an energy of not willing to let this go. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Emperor, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. So there is this energy here that wants to come in towards you. Um, it seems like it's an energy that's coming out from a place of breakup, whatever may have happened, a place of split, a place of outside of your energy completely, but coming back in, coming back out of, you know, this place of abandonment. They're trying to, at least. There's a lot of determination to it and a lot of, I'm just going to go do it. You know, kind of like, as a matter of fact, we energy here. So, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It feels like they want to break this, break this break, basically. But that's it. Moving on to Sagittarius. On your side, you get the Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Tower. It kind of feels like you're, um, you're learning how to achieve and stay in a very emotional balanced place. And that to you comes in as what the fuck just happened. But I feel like it's with a the help of another energy attached to you here. So you're kind of starting to reach that place all on your own but you give credit to this other energy somehow kind of like who i learned through you or from you a lot in this department uh which i don't know who you is but it feels like you're you're learning how to get into this place of emotional stability and it comes in as a surprise of whoa there it was i've been looking for this place um for the connection for the energy attached to you there's the chariot the page of wands the justice card see they're they're holding a place of balance a place of stability so that energy in itself is going to help you out a lot um they're keeping themselves open a sense of curiosity towards this there there is movement in their energy all the time but movement from a very balanced place. So whoever this is, when they approach you, you would get that sense, that kind of an energy of uh, 
balance, stability, even protection at times, maybe. But it, it, it feels like this is how you learned to kind of fall into that place for yourself as well. So I don't know who this is to you. It doesn't have to be love. It could be a friend. Uh, it could be a family member. For the connection, the king of swords, the king of pentacles, the five of wands. Uh, these are two very practical energies kind of bumping heads at times. Um, maybe coming from a place of ego at times and that's when things get rough. But I don't see it necessarily being a problem. I see just a discord at times between the two of you. When you all kind of step into that place of, well, I know best. No, I know best. Well, you know. Um, let's see what the universe has. Oops. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. See, there is, and I felt this, like there's this, there's this sense of separation on their part though. So I don't, I don't know, again, I don't know exactly what this is. There's a sense of, I'm just going to stick here while you stay there, but we move in this together. But there's always this space between the two of us. I, I, I have no idea what this is, but I feel like that creates a lot of confusion. A lot of, well, why aren't you opening up fully to me? You know, why does this space have to exist here? Um, hmm, interesting. I don't know if you are the one that are doing that with, hey, stay back with the space. It could be you, but I see this more as being them. Um, anyways, that's it. Moving on to air signs, Libra. On your side, you get the Six of Swords, the World card, the Knight of Swords. You're moving forward. You're um, you're getting past something. Something ended here, and you're just kind of showing up in that place of, well, okay, but I'm not going to stand still. I'm just going to move forward. Whatever that is to you, it feels like it's there's no real pause and just kind of dragging this whole process of let me just sit here and go through this experience. Maybe you have. But right now it feels like cycle closed, next, you know. Um, for the energy attached to you, you get the uh, six of wands, the star, the hangman. Now this is a pause. This is definitely a pause. Somebody's really feeling good about uh, what they're desiring. And what they're desiring has something to do with you. However, they're not doing shit about it. So... Yeah, that's all I got for you there. For the connection, the, <laughs> the Libra card, the Justice card, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Wands. That's interesting. Because I... There's, there's a pause, there's a break between you and this other energy, and it's because this other energy holds things in this break. It's kind of like they're not willing to let go of their freedom to explore something else. But at the same time, behind everything, there's you. It's like it's always you. That's the only choice. But they're like, well, let me look at other choices, maybe. And that keeps this whole thing in this waiting mode, in this pause. Uh, when they actually know the answer to those choices, they can look all they want. As long as you're showing up here in this energy, it's like, yeah, it's it's Libra. But people do that sometimes. 
So it creates some delay here for whatever this is. I don't know if you're willing to wait though, because I feel like you're moving. As they're standing by, they're kind of like, Eep. and then they're still here. So it's like, uh, are you going to miss this train? You know, not you, them. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. The Empress, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, you're going to be very loyal to yourself during these times. Whatever feels right to you, I feel like you're going to stick with it. You know, you're not going to be impressed here by this pause, by this, hey, let me stop this whole train so that this person can make up their mind. Mm, not really. It doesn't look that way. You know? It feels like you're hanging on to this energy of, I'm going to do what's best for me. Okay. Uh, so good for you. Because I kind of like this energy of determination behind it all. But that's it. Moving on to Aquarius. On your side, you get the Temperance card, the Two of Wands, the Five of Wands. Um, something happened here in this connection with someone. There could have been an argument. There could have been a big-ass argument. There could have been, like, misunderstandings or something. There's there's this floating bubble of tension going around uh, that you are taking in this way. If I give this enough time, it'll fade away. It'll go away. This bubble will burst and it'll leave us alone. So it's shown up like that on your side of, let me just be patient through this and things will settle down in this situation. For them, however, they're taking it in a different way. Four of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Wands, the World card. Very upset, very disappointed with where things are. Um, they're not in that because I feel like for you, it's kind of like an energy of accepting how things are and then hoping that... Um, eventually you two can come out of this energy and change it. Uh, for them, they're upset, they're disappointed, and they have this, um, I'm not going to do anything about it. Why should I do anything about it? I'm not going to, I was hurt kind of thing. So there, there's that rejection to this whole accepting how things are and then, you know, kind of having expectations about how they should be fixed. Um, so it kind of comes in with the sense of, well, it could be that they've been that way and because uh, this could be a cycle for them that's ending also. Or it could be that they're in that place of believing that, oh my God, this could be the end, you know? Well, with, with where they're coming from in terms of their own energy towards this, I'm kind of tending to think um, that they may be in this place of, oh my God, it's done. Uh, for the connection, however, the Three of Swords, the Hermit, the Ace of Wands. There's definitely a possibility for this to be fixed, for this to be addressed. Um, but there's also a lot of pain in here. So that needs to be addressed first. That needs to be taken care of first. Um, and I feel like you're willing to do that. They may be in a place of closed off a little bit towards that. At least for now. Maybe you're right in your energy, you know. Maybe in time you know, they'll, they'll come out of that energy that's holding them um, a little bit of a prisoner here of their own. Bleh. But there is, there, there, I mean, there's definitely potential here. There's definitely a good energy that shows up of hmm, things might work out if we address this pain that was caused. Let's see what the universe has.
Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. Mm -mm. Why? I see this more like um, people around you that are here to help you, like friends, family. There's, It's like a support system, like a team that's behind you to help because I see you looking left and right and kind of choosing okay I want to talk to you now or you know your energy is doing me good in this situation it feels like you're surrounding yourself with this some some good ass energies here that are there to me it feels like they're coming in as support through this so I because otherwise it would mean ah fuck this I'm moving on but it doesn't come into um uh, it just doesn't match your energy that you're carrying towards this, you know? It kind of feels like, let me let me see who can help during these times, you know? Um, or you're open to whatever help comes your way during these times. Anyways, that's what I have. Moving on to Gemini. This is quite an interesting energy here that's popping up for you. So on your side, you get the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. It seems like you're heading into a good, stable, long-term, possibly, place with someone here. Um, there's definitely an energy of continuity, almost. Like, things are stable, things are going to be stable. Kind of like it feels that way. You don't know what's going to happen, of course, in 10 years, and 20 years. But it's kind of coming in with that energy of um, everything falls into place. And it feels like it'll stay there for quite some time, at least on your side. And it there's an energy of let's not rush this on your side. Like, let's take it day by day. You know, let's, let's not get crazy with energies here about this. Um... And it's carrying you towards uh, stability here. For whatever's connected to you here, they get the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You know what I see this as? I don't know if it's love, to be honest. Um, not for now. For now, I kind of see this as the energy of that perfect kind of calling job whatever it is that you're working towards and i see that energy coming your way and meeting you halfway like you're giving towards that energy and that energy is coming towards you and it's kind of looking good like it fits like a glove kind of thing because it's coming in with stability for you it's coming in with a desire to build something and it's coming in with a sense of determination of hell yeah i'm coming to meet you halfway of course this could be a person to me right now, it kind of feels like you're on this path where maybe you're opening up to a new career or um, investing in, some, I don't know, something material-like. And then that energy of whatever it is you're heading towards is responding to you in a very good way. That's how I see it in here. Um, for the connection, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands. You're not letting yourself get too excited about this, though. You know, as I said, you carry an energy of let's take it slow, day by day, one step at a time. And it's fine. It's fine. It works with this, within this. It's kind of like it's aligned to be in that way. However, it feels like you're suppressing those emotions of I really want to get excited about this, but I'm not going to because maybe I'll ruin it. Ah, not really. You know, because you want to. You want to be more excited by the looks of it. Or at least the energy is available. 
where you're kind of like, no, let's be serious. Let's get to work here. Sometimes you got to have fun with it, though. Let's see. Of course, all of this could be about a person, too. Yeah. I'm well, not getting it in that way, but it could be. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. I kind of get the sense that this is just the beginning of whatever this experience is for you. Of course, it carries all of those um, long-term good, grounded kind of energies of this is this is something here. But the way it's showing up from the universe, it kind of feels like right now you're kind of heading in a direction and you may not know where it's going to lead you. You know, there's this... I'm just going to give in this direction, but I don't see you putting all of you in there for now. Maybe because of the fact that you don't know, you know, yet. So I kind of see you at the beginning of this. Felix, if I would show you right now to everybody in here, they would laugh their asses off here. I'm not going to embarrass you like that. Plus, I can't carry you in that thing. But he got as a present for Halloween, which is not here yet, but autumn time, a little acorn looking kind of thing for cats, right? A little tent thing. But it's so little and he's so huge that he kind of curls up in there and it feels to me like he's very crunched in there. But to him, he loves it. And I'm like, okay. I'll try my best at the end of this, if it's still there, to bring it over. But if I lift that thing up, it'll he'll drop through the floor. Because uh, it's too light. I, I, he's heavy. He doesn't know he's, you know. Anyway, uh, water signs. Pisces. If I were to pick up Kai and that, that would be a different story. But with Felix, he's a bit big. He's a big boy. These chipmunks sound like birds. There's a lot of them in here. They sound like birds. I um, I know when it's them and not birds because I, I spent so much time with them this summer that I kind of like, oh, Woody's here. Uh, so I kind of got their sounds, but they're funny. They're a little, little funny chippies. Pisces. Whoa. On your side, you get the Six of Wands, the Lovers, the Five of Swords. You're excited about something here. There's definitely some sort of connection here that makes you happy, makes you feel like, oh my God, I made it. We made it. Look at us. Um, I don't believe that you believe this, though, you know, truly that you've made it. So that could tell me that maybe there's some fears attached to the situation that, oh, yeah, it's going to last, but who knows for how long. Um, that five of swords there kind of takes you out of the present, out of enjoying what it is that you're feeling here, because the feeling is real. Uh, you're just taken away from it by who knows what. You know, who knows what kind of other energies you're bringing into the table instead of just sitting there with the feeling and enjoying it. Um, for whoever's connected to you here, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. They're definitely bringing an energy of, hey, I want to spend time with you. Not only that, not only this time, but at the future time. So they're, they're bringing in an energy of, let's enjoy one another right now. And let's make it last. You know, there's a lot of determination to bring that in. Now, whether or not they're doing it, I don't know. We have free will, so who knows. For the connection, the Strength card, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Swords. This Five of Swords on your side could be that of projecting um, your own pain towards them. I feel like you're carrying some sort of pain tied up to this. As happy as you are about it, there could be some sort of pain either tied up to this, either brought in from someplace else, which could be worse. Because I see the pain pouring in here. 
kind of like it takes a lot to be open and real about what it is that brings you pain, you know, talking about that. Most people, the way they handle that, they project from that place onto all sorts of situations that are close, closest to them without even realizing that they're doing it. So make sure you're not doing that, especially because you got the Five of Swords attached to you here. Of course, roles can be reversed, but somebody's coming in from a place of pain and they have two choices. Either I'm going to project on this person, even though everything's great, everything's fine, but let me be an ass about it and ruin everything because I'm hurting about who knows what and I'm not able to recognize it. Um, or you find the strength to open up about this pain, either to them or even to you first, you know? So, um, let's see what the universe has. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Devil. Somebody's trying to really restrict the the way in which this energy moves. I feel like there's uh, love to be felt. There's all sorts of stuff that are feeling good and are making everything come together. But somebody's kind of pulling that energy, being like, whoa, energy, where are you going so fast? Let's take it easy, even though they don't feel necessarily that way. So that's kind of going against the energies. That's kind of trying to force the energy to be something that it's not. And that comes in as a pattern for whoever this is. This could be you. This could be them. I'm just going to throw it on you since I'm doing this reading on you. And you've got some, some things in here that you may not identify here and there. You know, somebody's really, this is going to go slow. Mm. Well, yeah, but if the energy kind of moves a little faster, you're kind of going against the energy. So that's it. Moving on to Scorpio. Okay, on your side, you get the Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Magician. Pretty upset that something's not coming to fruition. It's something tied up to a person. I feel like you're trying to manifest this particular person and it's not happening. And you're pretty upset about it. Whatever. they manifesting that they do something, that they come towards you or who knows what. Um, manifesting people in general. That's just my take on it. Not a good idea. Uh, not that it's just not a good idea. Most of the times it's not going to work unless you do it uh, in a particular way. And I would stay away from that way. Me personally. Um, for them, the world card, the page of pentacles, the seven of swords. Okay. I see this person kind of shutting down, kind of being like, I ah, no, no, kind of going. There was a little bit of an energy kind of curious here, kind of open, but now it's kind of like I'm shutting down. I'm out there. I go in that direction by the way they're showing up in their energy. Now in the connection energies, what the hell is going on here? Uh, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant. There could be some sort of connection here between you and them. But I feel like the energies here are split in a bizarre way. In terms of, yes, there is something here that's holding the two of you together. But at the same time, you have your energy probably split or 
trying to split your energy someplace else. They have it too, because this Knight of Wands and this Knight of Cups, I don't see them coming together. I see them going separate ways. This Knight of Cups passes by this Knight of Wands and then there, there they go. You know, it kind of feels like that. But I do see the Hierophant there, which is telling me that there must be something here. Uh, which, you know, doesn't help in this situation because you're dealing with what is, not with what there must be, you know? Um, let's see. Let's see what the universe has. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a there's definitely a, a, a split, a detachment, an emotional detachment going on. And not only that, but whoever's kind of taking themselves out of this emotionally, they're probably focusing a lot on their material world, not on emotions, not on love. They're like, I don't need to spy. And it could be them. Um, where they're, they could be burying themselves in in work at this time. Anyways, that's it. Moving on to Cancer. Shuffling sometimes just doesn't want to, but apparently these energies wanted to come in your reading too. Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups that Scorpio just had in their um, connection energies. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords on your side. I see these energies coming your way, but it feels like it's a little too much to you at this time, at least. It feels like as these energies come towards you, you're kind of pulling away from them. You're kind of like, okay, I don't want this right now. Or, you know, I, no, thank you. You know, there's that. I mean, you're not scared of them. You're not, it just feels like it's either not something you want right now or something that feels too much right now so i don't know who's and i see this as different energies not the same person bringing in all this intensity towards you could be people that are interested in spending time with you or spending whatever with you you know but i don't see you responding to these necessarily not right now um i don't see you saying no or saying yes to them you know just kind of pulling pulling away for the energy attached to you here the ace of cups the nine of cups the three of wands interesting because this is definitely somebody that wants a brand new beginning in love here but they're not doing anything about it in terms of they might know that you're kind of pulling away so they're not bringing anything right now they're kind of sitting there on the side waiting for the right time to come in with this energy um Interesting here. For the connection, the Five of Swords, the Judgment card, the King of Swords. I kind of get the sense, you know, you're coming in with this energy of, I made up my mind. Nothing can turn me back from this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I made up my mind. This is how it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know. The Five of Swords is here also in this situation. So I, 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 I don't know if, I mean, you sound convinced, you look convinced, you seem that, oh uh, yeah, I know, nothing's going to change my mind. Um, but I mean, you can never say never really because energies can change, minds can change, you know, people change their mind all the time. 
uh, because energies can change and the way we feel about things. So being so determined in that direction of this is how it's going to be, you know, that's where um, I feel like you're trying to convince yourself of that. Yes, especially with this Five of Swords being here, but I don't know if that's the case. Um, let's see what the universe has. Huh. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so I shuffled the card. This never happened, by the way. I've been doing this for two and a half years. This never, never happened. From the universe, you get the judgment card. It's here in the connection. The five of swords, it's here in the connection. And the king of swords, it's here in the connection. Don't be so sure about what it is that you've decided in regards to this. Because I feel like it's a strong ass message from the universe. Like, hmm. Like, of course, if you want to believe that, that you made up your mind and it's it's definite, it's you're never going to change your mind about this. You can believe that all you want. Just don't be so sure about it. Because I feel like there's a little bit of... There's always a chance for you not to, you know, hold off to this. Because I, it could be that because the universe is showing it too, it could be that you're going out there in the world telling everybody that this is how it's going to be. And I'm never changing my mind about it. You know, and kind of creating this setting of, no, I'll never change my mind, which, you know, so what? You can go out there, you can do whatever you want, but you can always change your mind. You know, so interesting. I've never had this happen. That was so cool. That's it. That's what I have for you. Uh, I'll try my best to go and grab uh, Felix's acorn with Felix inside. I might not do a great job. He might wake up and try to get out of there, but I'll do my best, okay? Let me see if my skills are in par with what I want to do here. Give me a sec. <laughs> so this is what I need. He's not going to want to stay here, but that's a little, I mean, on the screen it might look big, but I mean, it's very small for him. Did you miss this table? You can be honest with mama. Sorry, I woke, I woke him up. I suck. I suck. I suck. Look at you, baby boy. Look at you. Being a big boy and fluffy and you need a haircut. Yeah. Uh, but that's um, that's what I got. That's what I got for you guys. Oh, I woke him up. I woke up, boo boo. I woke you up, baby boy. Yeah, this huge guy. I know it's yours. I'm not. It's yours. Even Kai knows. Even though he fits in there better. Anyways, uh, I'll go. I'll go sleep when they go back to sleep because I woke them up. And my God, I'll uh, see you soon. Bye. I love when he yawns and he does that. <laughs>